hello students today we going to find out the formulas for the surface area of cylinder with an activity method what is the use of this method that that we always cram the formulas but after doing the activity we need not cram any formula we just can form the formulas ourselves so in this way today we find out the surface area of cylinder by ourselves no need to cram that so there are two types of surface areas one is lateral surface area and that is total surface area that also i'm going to tell you what is the difference between them and what are they to prove these we going to use this material that is written here we going to use this a4 sheet a pair of scissors a cylindrical object i'm taking this as a cylindrical object you can see it's a kind of pen stand and geometry box in which i'm just using this pencil eraser and scale etc and the fevi stick we need if we need to something paste then we going to use it okay now first of all you should know what is area area you already know like this paper i'm just taking the negligible height so this is a paper and the part of this paper which is visible is a area of this paper and this is square so area of square now for 3d shapes we also have some kind of area what is that you can see this cylinder so the area if we take this complete area means if we need any cloth or any paper to cover this uh, curved face that plus the lower surface also we want to cover and suppose a cap also we want to make of this then that area is known as the total surface area means we are covering this totally from all the three faces one two and three so that is total surface area and what is the lateral surface area the lateral surface area means if we leave the top and the bottom and just the side face we are taking and we are covering that only so that area covers the that area is known as the to lateral surface area or curved surface area so today we going to find out these two areas for the cylinder for this thing we just have to roll a a4 sheet any a4 sheet you can take like this you can see i'm just rolling this and where it starts overlapping you can mark that one okay and then you can just mark the height as well and then draw draw a line here and then cut this so we can get a rectangular piece like this which covers the side face completely like this and with the same height as of this cylindrical of this cylindrical thing fine now what is left with us now this and this is left so what we should do for this we need to just place it on the paper and then just make a boundary and then cut it and from both the sides we can make the boundary like this and then we going to cut it with the scissors so after cutting we have these two circular pieces of paper and one this rectangular which can cover the curved face of this cylinder and they are the top and these are the top and the bottom okay and now you know that when we cover this you can see when we open it becomes a length of the rectangle 
and when we cover this this length which after opening it becomes the length of the rectangle is actually the circumference of the circle you can see there is a circular and then this is the circumference and you know the formula for the circumference let us take this as the circle and with the radius r we are denoting the radius of the circle as r so if it is r what is the circumference of the circle you can tell that is 2 pi r it means while opening we come to know that what is the length of this rectangular piece that is 2 pi r we have mentioned the length as 2 pi r and you know what is this this is actually the this is actually the height of the cylinder so we mark it as h so here we marked it as h fine so as it is a rectangle so we already know what is the formula of the area to find out the area of the rectangle so that is length into breadth so length here is 2 pi r and breadth is h and you know this rectangle paper rectangular paper represents the curved surface area of curved surface area of this cylinder so what can be that so the literal or the curved surface area of cylinder will be equal to the area of this rectangle and what is this that is length into breadth that is 2 pi r multiplied by h so the formula becomes 2 pi r h now for total surface area we need the top and the bot top and the bottom both so we have pasted these two circles also so we need the area of these also so what are these area as you already know what is the formula for finding out the area of circle with the radius r you can think yeah that is pi r square but how many circles are there two so the total surface area of this cylinder will be we have to add these area of the two these two circles and this rectangle that is actually the area of this face that is curved face so what will be that this area we already have taken that is 2 pi r h plus what will we add the area of these two circles which are same so having the radius as r so the area will be pi r square plus pi r square so what we can write 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square i know you can do it this is very easy now you can take by using distributive property you can take 2 pi r outside means common we are taking and then we can write h plus r or we can write in both the manner that is there is no difference h plus r or r plus h both are right so this is the required formula for total surface area so do not forget let me remind you once again total surface area means if we take the area of the curved face of the cylinder plus the two circular faces this base and the top and in the curved or the lateral surface area we just take the curved face we always take it as curved face so we need to take this so that is 2 pi r h and after solving we are total surface 2 pi r into r plus h and you know this is our required result that we have written here so observation you can write yourself what you have observed you have observed how to find out the uh, formulas or what is the meaning of the lateral and the total surface area of a cylinder that you can write yourself so i hope you enjoyed this uh, video and you learned a lot uh, from this activity and you just do it and you definitely not going to forget the formulas you need not even cram you just make your own formulas 
सो थैंक यू सो मच